the War of Attrition Novice Hurdle. Another small field, three mile over the hurdle, and it's Kanowski for David Robinson, a three one three to one pre race favourite. Dale Braysford, Plastic Plastic, Warlock, World of Warlocks, and Molly Boots, Stu Gray, number six. Flag drops. And to the first of 12 flights. Six horses, four trainers. So hopefully all the trainers can pick up prize money. And Molly Boots leads the field early from its stable made out wider plastic, plastic, then Kanowski, World of Warlocks, Warlock, and Dave Brailsford as they come to the second. John Morgan was unlucky in the previous race when his horse walked through the final flight and was was able to manage a dead heat but even a slow jump there would have given up the race but that's racing furlongs to run no change the order here molly boots from warlock plastic plastic canasty on the inside of world of warlocks and dave brailsford at the tail two mile left to run so they've Completed a third of the race. Canasty now moves in the second behind Molly Boots. It's on the outside of Plastic, Plastic. Then we have Warlock and Dave Brailsford and World of Warlocks running together. Over the sixth flight. Twelve furlongs left to run. Oh, one's getting pulled up here and it's interfered with uh, Plastic Plastic, but Warlock has been pulled up and is out of the race. Before that it did appear to be pulling and then it ran into the back of the leader. So maybe it sustained an injury there but it's definitely interfered with Plastique Plastique which has been pushed right out of the race. Need a huge effort from back there. Something akin to red rum. But Molly Boots leads. So everyone, trainer will get prize money here. Unless there's another pull up. So we come on down to the mile pole. So two thirds of the race is gone. I think there's four more flights to get over. So they come down to the ninth and up and over they go. Slow one by the leader. Now being challenged by Kanowski. And Kanowski just goes straight past Molly Boots and takes the lead outright. Now opens up a two length, two and a half length lead. 
maybe pushing on three links. It is now, and it's pulling away from Molly Boots. So it's make, making a decisive move. So it's Canousey, well clear of Molly Boots. It goes over the 10th from Dave Brailsford, World of Warlocks, and Plastic, Plastic. So this field has been strung right out. So at least 15 or more links first to last. We race towards the three furlong, three and a half furlong to go. We're about to round this home turn. And we come to the second last flight. And up and over they go. And it looks like a race in two now between Canasty and Molly Boots. And then we've got Daylight and World of Warlocks. Dave Brails for trying to run on Plastique, Plastique. One more flight to get over. One and a half furlongs left, up and over they go. And it's Canasty and Molly Boots at the furlong. Canasty still full of running, and I think it's got this one in the bag here. It'd have to stop pretty suddenly for Molly Boots to catch it. As they're inside the half, they run on down to the winning line. And the jockey eases up on Canasty, and it wins from Molly Boots, World of Warlocks third, Dave Browles for fourth. Plastic, Plastic fifth. Congratulations, David, with Canousty. Second, Molly Boots, Stu Gray. Third, World of Warlocks, Josh Sutherland. Dave Brailsford, fourth. Plastic, Plastic, fifth.